Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Sunday, September 24th, around 8 p.m. Mountain Time 2023. Take a look. The geomagnetic storm has arrived. Those cannibal CMEs have hit, and the aurora is lighting up. Keep calm. It's boom time. Severe weather, large hail, very large hail forecast with the cold front in North Texas tonight. So take heed. Saltwater intrusion in the Mississippi River could reach New Orleans by October. And that could be a problem for, well, drinking water in the region. Here's the forecast. Post-tropical Ophelia, southern, severe, and unsettled northwest. Ophelia continues to impact parts of the Mid-Atlantic and New England with rain and dangerous coastal conditions. Scattered severe storms in the South Plains and Lower Mississippi Valley may produce damaging winds, large to very large hail and heavy rain. So put your helmets on. Cool and wet conditions are expected in the Northwest into Northern California with locally heavy rain on burn scars that could cause debris flows. Take a quick look at those pop-up storms that may, may bring very large hail to Texas overnight. Right there, East Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. And the snowfall map is rapidly changing, showing heavy snow accumulations up in British Columbia and Alberta through the first week of October. Shut up, Al! Get in your hole! Lost 2017 Airbus engine found under 12 feet of Greenland ice. Well, that means 12 feet of ice has built on Greenland in just about five years now, doesn't it? Seismic update. No quakes of note. Just had a rumbler frat quake 3.7 in Oklahoma, but overall, very quiet across the world. As Chile raises the alert for a Villarica volcano to amber. As you can see, it's glowing amber right there. We also have Shishaldin elevated tremor continuing and, well, normal activity worldwide. Let's see if Shishaldin went boom. Nope. Now let's take a quick look at the CME that has arrived, bringing uh, the solar wind speed from 300 kilometers per second almost to 500 instantly. And that is going to drive the KP up. You can see everything happening at the same time. And that is the impact of the CME. There might be reverberations. As you can see, everything in the telemetry here is currently going up. But it only brought us to KP 5.5 or slightly higher than that. The A spacecraft detected a sudden solar wind increase at 1953 UTC. The solar wind speed is currently above 460 kilometers per second. A moderate G2 geomagnetic storm is suddenly in progress following a CME passage past Earth. Although the solar wind speed is above 450 kilometers per second, it is not considered that impressive. And it, in fact, is not. But you certainly don't want to miss out and get out tonight and look up. Yes, go do it. Worm that jumps from rats to slugs to human brains has invaded the southeast. Holy macaroni. The dreaded rat lungworm is here to stay. A parasite with a pension for rats, rat slugs, and lungs. And may even find itself into the human population. Here's the paper. Angiostrongylus cantonensis infection in brown rats. Now, the long-awaited asteroid sample has landed in the U.S., and I watched it live earlier this morning, about 10.30. one has visual on the SRC below the chute. That is phenomenal. Let's see that view here from that first helicopter as it continues to make its final descent to the terrain below. And so... So the sample from Asteroid Bennu has arrived. And we will leave you links below if you want to watch the replay. Like we always do. And if you follow us on Twitter, we have the video up over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Diamond the Dave over at the tweet box. Now, why did Bill Gates make a sudden U-term on climate doom narrative? Well, because he knows people aren't buying it. And he says that planting trees is complete nonsense. I couldn't disagree more. But he does admit the end of oil and gas is finally in sight, and I doubt it. 
More fear-mongering here from the sun. Virus hell. The next pandemic could come from a million unknown viruses and kill 50 million people like the Spanish flu. Who knew? Now you do. That, that's crazy. What is this? Who's buying car seats? So this is showing up at the mirror, showing up everywhere. The sun. And this is another tactic. Maybe something's coming. Maybe they know something we don't. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We love you. Be safe. Oh, and we have the... Re Chris Canale, the woman that uh, went crazy at our talk at Crestone, just did an interview. I'm going to take a look at it and maybe we'll share it with you soon. And that's a boom.